Hello, Gretchen Wegner here. And today I want to talk to parents. And parents, I want to ask you, do you ever ambush your teenager with fear and anxiety or anger about something your teen isn't doing that you thought maybe he or she should be doing? And I ask this question because I have over the years had a number of students use this word ambush uh, to describe how their parents come at them. And I drew a little picture here on my trusty whiteboard to kind of show how it feels to uh, many of my clients when this happens. Now, you may not perceive you're ambushing the student, but they perceive you are. And often they're just hearing all this criticism and everything that they're doing wrong, and they're not hearing what they're doing right. They're also not experiencing compassion and empathy for what their situation as a student is. And some of my kiddos who I get to see are kind of at their wit's end. They're like, why does mom like jump at me in the car? When I get in the car, she's already seen my grades online and she's picking me up from school. And then on ah, the whole ride home, it's just ambush, ambush. And uh, that's just one example of a number of stories that I've heard. So I want to just say to you, parents, that, oh my gosh, boy, do I understand uh, the anxiety and the frustration and the anger that goes into parenting. I totally get it. And especially when you thought your teenager was doing something that now it looks like they might not have done when you look at their grades or whatever the thing is that you're upset about. I can really imagine how that emotion, that upset emotion arises in you and you're just so sick of it and it just bursts out to your student. And I want to ask you to experiment with this, with pausing, the pause. And instead of ambushing, I want to ask you if you could actually request time to talk later with your students so that you're not grabbing them while your nervous system is still all, you know, a, a flutter with all those feelings. So that's number one, delay the talk. Number two here, point that I wanted to make is doing this gives you a chance to cool yourself down because too often we transfer our anxiety and our anger from our own bodies straight to our kiddos. And that makes it harder for them to follow through on the thing we want them to follow through on, not easier. So like you're getting in, your, in, in their way and your own way for getting your need met when you ambush them. So this pause requesting a time to talk later gives you a chance to get clear and also gives you a chance to plan. Uh, what I've seen is when, when parents like jump at their kiddos, they're jumping at what's wrong and they're not actually thinking about or noticing what's going well. And so this gives you an opportunity to plan how to communicate compassionately to your student. Is there something that you've noticed that they do well? Uh, is there a way that you could actually, instead of getting upset, that you could get curious about what's going on because maybe what you think is going on isn't actually the thing going on. I'm not sure. But what I do know is that students would actually be so much happier if instead of this ambush experience that they're having, they really felt like their parents were collaborating with them. <sighs> so get me, oh, sorry, I have a sneeze coming. <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna say for a second. Not get me, send me an email, uh, Gretchen at GretchenWegner.com if you have any uh, questions or concerns about this. I know this might seem like an impossible task I'm asking of you, or try the experiment and let me know how it goes. And I will, as always, see you in next week's video.